<laughs> Yo, morning guys, it's uh, Martin and Chris, uh, the Evolved. Uh, we're out on a, a little explore today. Some old uh, World War II buildings and things like that. We'll be here shortly. So, uh, yeah, we'll update shortly when we get there. I don't want to say shortly anymore, I said shortly a lot. Shortly. The site was opened in 1943. Riven Hall was used by both the Royal Air Force and United States Army Air Force. During the war, it was used primarily as a combat airfield and various fighter and bomber units were based there. The site was closed following the end of the war in 1946, although it was kept in reserve for the following 10 years. The site used to house Polish servicemen released from prisoner of war camps who did not want to return to their homeland. Marconi leased much of the site after this time. Progression of the building work was slow during the autumn and winter of 1943. Construction of the site began in early 1943 with runways, perimeter and hard standings built by W and C French and the buildings by Bovis or Bovis Limited. Later in 1943, when the USAAF arrived, building work was still uncompleted. The airstrips had been reserved for the 8th Air Force for heavy bomber use and eventually reassigned to the 3rd Bombardment Wing which became the nucleus of the 9th Bomber Command. The airfield was built to the Class A airfield standard consisting of three runways a 6,000 foot, 4,200 foot and 4,200 foot. The ground support station was constructed largely of Nissan huts of many different sizes, mostly on the south side of the airfield. The main runway still exists, however a second one is supposed to also exist, however it's heavily overgrown with foliage, grass, weeds, etc. Hi guys, um, yeah we've got to where we think is the place. Right guys, um, we're not really sure what we're looking for, we've decided to go for a walk through the woods today. Chris is up front with a torch. Hi Chris. <laughs> How's it going? Look at that. Can we get that on there? Yeah, just about. Thanks, it's man. a rickety bridge. It's a grumpy old troll yeah. living under the bridge. On top me. <laughs> Dare you to jump in it? No, like that's <laughs> <laughs> like. I was, I was thinking, like, what would be the worst place to get? Are oh, you going to stir them up? They're going to be pissed. They're definitely going to come and get us. Oh yeah, they're on my feet as well. Bastards, get off! Right, we should probably move away from here. We're there. We need to go down that way. Down that way, yeah. Mm. Right, let's give it a go. Oh, the barbed wire's back again. Follow it for sure, and then you know, I don't actually know which side is the right side. So, what good's the fence if you don't know which side you're supposed to be on? What we'll do is we'll check the map again in. I don't know, a couple of minutes or something. Oh look, and like to add to that, I got them ones with needles on it as well. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I'm gripped on by something. Ow! Oh man, it sucks. <laughs> 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 ah. Ramble right in my leg. Now, needles in the eyes. Oh look, we've got a fence. Yeah. yeah. There, before we go in there, there's a bungalow with a light on it on the back over there. Yeah. So guys, we've come from this way so far. We're walking through all this wilderness. And uh, we've heard there's an air raid shelter here. Have a look for that. Oh, we've... Uh, 
Oh, what have you found? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, 28p can of coke. That's a good deal. And some bike rims. All right, I'm gonna kneel down and have a look around. They put like a load of mesh in here. Um, it's just loads of crap generally, but it's kind of it's reinforced concrete, which is fairly round, about four and a half foot tall, maybe five foot, joined and pleated in the top. Oh, is there? That's a waste of fun to find. They got their little skull print on their backs. Are they like? Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. They they just kind of sting you a bit, make you swell up a bit. Man, this is quite awkward to get around. Oh, I don't want to get any closer than that. I can't really at this angle. Probably ducking down with when I need to, but let me do all that with with my coffee still in my hand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah guys, so I'm um, just going to make our way out and uh, have a look around from the outside, so uh, I can't wait up now. Sweet as. Right, well, we have a building. Do we know what building this is, Chris? Uh, no, I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have a clue either. But this is one of the buildings that we've just come to. Um, and so, yeah, let's start the tour. Like, Obviously, we have no idea what anything is. It's entirely guesswork at this point. Like, we'll probably fill in some blanks later on the video. What have we got here? What's this picture right here? Got something on here. Type 11, maybe, or 67 two. I don't know, whatever that says. It looks like an M at the end. Yeah. There's some other writing underneath there. Got some fuses and stuff. Oh, yeah. This mad vent, like this once was like that, like, it's eroded all the way through. There's the emergency switch, I think. Here we go, what's through this door? What have we got? Some big filing cabinet. Massive filing cabinet, look at the size of it. I might get my torch out just so I can uh, pop it up. There we go, look at the size of that. Super Kings. In the old packet before yeah. they like blanked them out and put funny pictures no, on them. A non-green cigarette oh, yeah. Jeez. I wonder what was here, like some sort of desk arrangement or something maybe? I thought it said chaos with care. All right, I think we've got to cut across to the other side. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Yes. Very nice. If we go this way, there's another one. Just hiding 
in the woods. Happy days. All right, let's go guys, it's through the doors. This is fully dilapidated, isn't it? Yeah. Look at these walls. Yeah, at least it's um, metal, not asbestos. I don't know, what's this here? I think it's insulation, but I wouldn't. Yeah, don't, don't want to play around. Like yeah, yeah. Chris has found something even better. What have we got? Call us a. The echo is good. Ooh. Nice. How cool is this? Blankly has to go up there in a little while. Oh, there is. Oh, that's cool. Chris is going up the stairs. There's a light switch here. I wonder if it works. It really rotted through. No, it's like those bars that are down the bottom, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I don't know how deep this stuff is on top, but that stuff's all cool and through. It's chipped through. Oh, yeah. Someone must have slipped up here. Random. I suppose if you've got nowhere else to sleep, it's somewhere to sleep, isn't it? But. Yeah. And it's dry. I don't know if I trust the uh, dust content too much though. You have to fall asleep with a gas mask on. Or like you know, a normal mask. Uh, on oh are they? Yeah, oh, that's a bit of a release then I guess. <laughs> All this metal work, ventilation, storage. Lots of cobwebs. Another one. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Quality. I'm glad we got to this place. Good. Birds nests on that in here. The state of this rust up here on the pipes. Yeah. See, uh, electrical junction. What do we reckon? Bake the light on that? It's white, it's burnt, and it's rusty. So. Something rude. Bottom room? <laughs> yeah. Bottom room. <laughs> well, I thought there was a picture of a bone there, like I don't know what it that is. Yeah. Or is it a dick? It's smoke or a bone? Out. Or it could be, yeah. <laughs> World War II, this was. The bottom room. <laughs> 420, eat your heart out. <laughs> Like yeah, I've seen a few, but that one's got one as well. No, no, it doesn't. 
sind. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm after taking some photos in here. Well, that would be the rack stair then, I guess, which would have stood up against that wall, I reckon. Oh, it's rusty, yeah. Definitely seen better days than here. <laughs> Man, smelly egg. Ancient, isn't it? The speaker. Mono as well, isn't it? It's only one speaker. Yeah. It's like the kind of set me um, parents used to have when I was growing up. Push buttons and all. Uh, look at these push buttons, guys. This, this was a fancy TV, this was. Yeah. It's definitely not like wartime by any means, but no. it's interesting to see like the old fashioned buttons and stuff. You can actually push buttons for BBC One, Two, ITV. VCR. I don't know why there's two BBC ones for, but RGB. Philips, Philips RGB, CRT TV. It's a mouthful. Oh, and Stella. There's a Stella logo. Oh, is it? <laughs> This is cool, I like it here. Yeah. I wonder why that's blocked up. Unless it's just a breather, they put a breather in so that this place doesn't no, uh, mould out maybe. Yeah. Archway yeah. for a door, probably stands about six foot two-ish. Um, is it? Yeah. It's not as tall as me, I'm 67. So let's call it a six, nine, six, eight, six, nine door by probably two and a half foot probably. And um, yeah, we're gonna breathe a hole that goes outside. So we're gonna investigate, of course, and see where that goes. So that's the plan. So much broken glass in here, guys, it's unreal. Oh uh, yeah, the room, like, I, I can probably reach up there, hang on. There we go, guys, it's up there without going up there. For safety, mind you, now we've got crazy Chris's on the scene. Is up there anyway. Yeah, um, there's just some bits of ceiling. It looks like someone's plastered the ceiling and then it's fallen down again. Yeah, it looks like someone's made an effort in here <laughs> and then obviously found out that, I don't know, I guess either the elements weren't really on their side or they didn't like properly insulate it and um, people the damp it's just buggered it. it burnt, oh, yeah, like Chris said, yeah, like one of the Perhaps the wall, where is it? Yeah, we've got burn marks and... Mm -hmm. And it looks like people have splashed fuel up here. I think that's what the marks are. They've mm -hmm. splashed fuel up the walls of the wooden bit and then um, lit them. <coughs> oh, that, that door thing comes out around here, I think. Well, let's have a look then. Let's see where we're going. Where are we going now? Yeah, we've got those air bricks. Oh yeah, it's the other side of it, isn't it? Yeah. What do you reckon is it's a hot water? Oh, for radi that would be radiators, wouldn't it? Look, the radiator fittings are there. Yeah. The pipes standing up. The shelves there. Breaking some more. Yeah. Stay this lighter. Yes. Sunday cobwebs. <laughs> oh, so I like the look of this. Door. <laughs> a tree right behind you. Maybe it's like Narnia. Yeah. 
secret door to Narnia. Yeah. The Evolve Chronicles. Yeah. You saw it here first, guys. <laughs> That's my like best cinema voice I could edit. I could do. Yeah, definitely. I'm well up for taking some still pictures in here. It's fantastic. Postcard on the next trip. Yeah, it does click. There's a little dum in there. Yeah. Clicks back. I just saw ya. <laughs> yeah.
green binders. I hope to know. What's it say on it? Marconi. Marconi standard catalogue. And then we've got Marconi standard here, look. Volume Mar 1, part 3, components and hardware. Marconi is on the, one of the two pound phones. Um, is it? Yeah. Radio waves. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to have to find one of those and probably put it in a video. Right. Show people what we're talking about. Marconi Company Limited. I suppose it doesn't really matter, like filming it now, does it? I mean, it's not like these people are probably going to be around. These um, windows, like the neglected look, is like pretty cool. Yeah. It's like rusty glass, and it's kind of. Weird that they're barred, but like, I suppose um, being military and everything. So this is a uh, Riven Hall or Riven Hall. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments whether it's Riven Hall or Riven Hall, or does it really not matter? Yeah, do that, guys. Leave us a comment and um, let us know. Riven or Riven. How are they going to tell the difference? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell the difference. That's what I'm asking. Like, it's crazy, isn't it? Some of the old uh, designs on it. It's probably quite effective, though. If you look at like how the uh, it's like shower head, isn't it? Like, yeah. What is it? Yeah. Air, air would just like flow straight down the circular. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, through there. Into that. So through that. All the way along into this arrangement. Through the wall. Up here. And then it would split and filter. One there, one there, one there, one there. And that would aerate this whole room when I'm guessing the windows weren't or couldn't open for some reason. Uh, note to self guys, I need to get one of those stick things to lock the camera on. Well too close here. Oh, we've got another one. We got down here. Oh, nice. This, this guys could like very well be a backfield uh, entrance or exit to another underground facility. Um, which no doubt, Chris, will come back to and investigate. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look and see what this one like holds. Oh, it's brutal. It's proper stuck to you. You're like the gate opener. Like, cheers, dude. Like, just walk through there and leave you pinned. <laughs> well, there's an echo. 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 Let's go in. This is uh, one of the entrance doors and out the frame, light switch over here. Pretty standard doorway really. Uh, iron support. Door going somewhere. Oh, we'll have to have a look through there. I think we should have a look around this area first, like, and then branch off sort of thing. So we capture it all in one go for each area. What's here? Oh, it's got some writing on it. What have we got? MC S Shop. Yeah, Shop Students Commission. MCC something shop. Let's see. Oh yeah. Holy. Well, I'm so glad I'm not upstairs and that happened. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, we've got some chalk light stuff on here. I don't know if you can read that, guys, but it's basically a, a floor plan for something. So maybe something in here. We'll have to find out, I guess. Right, we've come in there. That was the door. That's the filing cabinet skeleton. The random information on the board. 
and we're going this way, like, and I follow on to Chris. Yeah, they're quite big rooms, aren't they? Like, yeah. Oh, sweet as. Yeah, guys, so this, this site actually gets a lot, lot bigger, we're finding. Like, there's more to it than we first thought. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. This is, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Keep out. It's definitely, <laughs> keep out. Oh no. Keep out, that's like an open door, isn't it? But um, We are outside. Just realized my torch is still on. There's no point in her and that one outside. And the door closed as well, like on its own, like eerily. It could be a ghost. No, trust me, guys, we're not going down that route. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. It's the haunted World War II. Oh, yeah, guys, we're, yeah, did I say we're in Rivenhall? Rivenhall, wherever. That's where we are. So these are all buildings on that site. And we're going to do, I'm guessing, what all of them or whatever we find, really. Because we only thought we were going to find one building, so this is pretty cold. Yeah. Definitely worth getting up early for. Jeez, ways. Look at the uh, yeah, the I asbestos know. up there. It's all on the floor as well. Man. So I don't know if we should think uh, It's just, um, just, I won't go in too far. I'll just like, have a quick look, guys. Like, I don't really want to be around asbestos too much. Hazardous shit. Yeah. State of that roof. Really, really don't want to be breathing that in. So, without further ado, we're going to leave this area. It's only sensible, I think. This is great. Yeah. This is actually really cool. Size of this. I'll say up there, what, bay 16, bay 15. 16, so I'm guessing 17, 18, 19. Yeah, we are. We're just going along. Wow, this is cool. This is a nice size hanger, isn't it? I wonder what they had had, like, have had in here, like airplane parts or. I don't know what I did. It was, it was right near the. It was. I don't know whether that um, bay number is from. The wall, or whether it's from uh, that's a little tiny bird. Think is it a robin, yeah? yeah, I think so. Like, yeah. They only usually come out in the old winter, don't they? Like robins, they're always like on like Christmas cards. Like, that's what I think. Maybe yeah, we're definitely going to get some still pictures of this after the video, I reckon, guys. But I don't want to interrupt the explore. I'm too engrossed in what we're finding. This is like, this is a nice explore to be honest. Like, you know, we had a, a look last night at a couple of places. Uh, we didn't, it didn't really turn up much. Size that building out there and the roof on it. I wonder if we can do a rooftop climb. We'll have to have a look at that in a minute. Don't know if I'd trust this bit to climb on though. If you look at the state of this uh, uh, rust on the side of the uh, corrugated bit, that looks sketchy as hell. There's no way in hell I'd trust putting my weight on that. Got lots of uh, gaskets and like connections and stuff, taps. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? Knock a door to outside or something for that bit, or? No, no, no. Oh, like a oh a divider. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Wow. I'd have loved to have seen like you know. I say the same all the time, you know. Like I'd love to see it in operation when it was working. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we know it's RAF, so um, 
there's a higher chance it probably did have plane parts or stuff they could work on in here. Um, mind you, saying that though, if it was plane parts and that, they'd need a bigger exit, I reckon, wouldn't they? I imagine. So maybe they worked on parts or stuff or repairs or designs. That bit there's different, isn't it? That would have been the. Yeah, that sticks out, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah, and then you've it's got like. Uh, yeah. I don't know, like you've got this um, pipe that runs down the middle and goes all the way up through the ceiling. That's got to be heating, surely. I wouldn't have thought it would be like a sprinkler system. Well, it's Water. possible, maybe. Water. Yeah, because look, this goes on to the, where the radiator is. Oh, yeah, 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 that's, yeah. Yeah, it connects to the radiator, doesn't it? So, yeah, it would be water. I wonder where they drew the water from though. Yeah. It's seats or something. Or... Yeah, there's a load of amenity fittings, isn't it? Is that what they're called? The radiator is the water goes in the bottom and out there. Yeah, and then continues to the next one probably yeah. and heats up as it goes round. Mm. I don't know how they control the heat though. They must have had a, um, what do you call it? Like a, not a thermometer. Uh, oh, a thermostat. Thermostat, that's the one. It's a bit bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit. What's that one? Kill Will. I, I thought it was Kill Bill. Kill Will. <laughs> With like a sort of. I think they've. Like we've got like the uh, satanic crosses, but then they've put like a. Is that a Jewish star? Yeah, it is. And the other one underneath looks like, you know, the badge that um, <coughs> Star, star Trek wears or something. <laughs> like. Space Force. Yeah. It's like a dyslexic satanist. <laughs> I will like the um, the look of that. Like, that sort of doesn't look right with your ass there. Like, I didn't really mean that. I meant like the <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the silhouette. Just in case anyone wonders, oh, what the fuck? Like, no, like the um, the silhouette of like looking through a window from inside outside, and you get like the dark bit but lit, and then it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just like that look. It looks cool. Zombie apocalypse. I think. Oh, jeez. Save me! Save me! Yeah, they mean, <laughs> they mean tetanus as well when they're there. Yeah. Or if you hit them too hard and like give yourself an abrasion, you'll be like, ah, oh, yeah. I've got it as well. Oh look, there's, a, there's an entrance in the back of that building, you see. Cool, let's take a look. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's definitely check that out. Well, oh, that was soft. Whatever that was under there. All right, guys. So like, yeah, that's another one we have just done. So that was I've lost count now. Second, third building. Look at that, guys. Some original gates here. It's oft, off hinged, and obviously, like, not really stopping anything from going in or out. Oh, there we go. And here we go. This is the next. This is the next building that we're going in. Next structure. You got a thermostat? Yeah, I found the thermostat. We've got an outside tap here. On the switches, let's have a look at that. Oh, so there we go. So we could control the heating yeah. at least. So that's good. Yeah, so we've definitely seen better days, but West Brighton, England. Brighton. In 
interesting to look at. Let's have a look at that tack out here. Like that comes off. That's like pretty old and it's got some interesting colours coming out on the metal there. Oh look, and there's a latch as well, so that would have been to hold the door back, I reckon. Look, I'll just see the uh, the latch. Mm. We've got something coming out the wall here, so what do you reckon, an alarm or a, uh, a junction box or something like that? We're not sure. Yeah. So have a look in here then, right. We've got a vented door, so that means there's definitely got to be machinery behind it, or at least that's what we've found out so far. And it turns out we're not wrong. I can smell fuel of some sort. State of those reflectors, they're so rusty. Got a nice little door. Cracking that wall yeah this little one um, door reminds me of the other one we did when we had to go down underground yeah you know what i mean yeah the one crashed my shoulder yeah the yeah like, yeah that one yeah same mistake like uh, i don't know i mean technically yeah but i'm not sure if it's really worth it like there's um it really smells of like diesel or something like quite strong um yeah there's some sort of oil drenched thing on the floor like a pad or something it's water, it's yeah water, isn't it? so actually working with oh, always water, water. oh yeah like turn it let's like film that is it water i don't know oh, i could or is it oil I think it's oil. Yeah, so it's st we've still got oil in the tank, guys. Yeah, make sure we turn it off properly. Like, yeah, yeah, like, like, it's off, off. Off, off. Not out, out, but off, off. I've loads of people have done that. Look how, how all Yeah, you it's there. proper black there, isn't it? Like, right, yeah. Yeah, guys, so like, we've just looked in this bit, in this building, in this structure, um, which is, uh, I don't know, I'm not really sure this is like some sort of powerhouse or something. Boiler room. And um, yeah, and and this huge tank in here, which is, excuse the poor camera angles there, I was like, well, jaffing about. Um, I don't know, probably about eight foot, like eight foot by eight foot maybe, or eight foot by seven foot by, Seven foot, so or maybe seven, seven foot cubed, I reckon. But yeah, it's still got loads of oil in it, so that's random. And the and the oil looked clean as well, didn't it? It's like it's clear amber. I thought it was water at first. That's why I had that funny reaction. I was like, yeah. yeah. What have we got in here? Oh, yeah. it's on the torch. Do that nice mad big spider just comes running out. Yeah. Be like, <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and close. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is the ideal AL or AK or A1. Sorry, okay, I'll show you a bit better. AI. AI. Yeah. Ideal artificial intelligence, World War II edition. Or is it? Oh, another bird's nest. We've seen so many of these guys. We leave them though anyway, because you never know if they use them or not. I mean, they don't look too well. Oh yeah. Challenge to find one with a bird in it. Oh yeah. That's where they hang their victims. No, it's not. <laughs> what do you reckon? Coat, ha coat hook or something? Or overalls or something? Oh, I don't know if I'd trust that. Some well. Yeah, definitely. Stood the test of time. Yeah.
I was wondering what that is up there. I thought it was a book at first, but I don't think it is. No, it's not. It's like insulation for the pipes that are sort of eroded away. Have you? Oh, oh no, you have. Oh, fuck. No, you've proper done them shoes now. Time for new DCs. Right, guys, uh, check this out. Next time we see Chris in a video, we have to check and see if he's got new DCs. <laughs> <laughs> Shh! <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> State these cracks like on on here. Oh yeah. Oh, the fold like binders or whatever they were folders. Yeah, guys. So we've got like more uh, power stuff. I like that, that would have probably had one of those glass ones in it, I reckon. Like that. That's um, Pyrex, is it? It's, not, it's, like, it's sort of like China, but it's not. I think it's Pyrex, I'm not sure. Ceramic. Ceramic, that's it, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, ceramic. Isn't it? So like not to not to be cliche or anything, but like when people say like, oh yeah, it's like nature taking over and it's like nature making a comeback and it's you know all this stuff. Like to be fair, like that's exactly what's happening. Like the the roots and the vines and the trees are eating their way into the brick, crumbling them down. The crumbled bits on the ground get trod down and turned back into dust. Dust gets watered down into the uh, the ground and then. Yeah, like magically it just turns back to dirt and then it disappears and eventually all of this will disappear and do the same. It's just a case of like how long it takes for each and every bit of it to erode away, I guess. What have we got in here? Uh, dead rabbit. Dead? Yeah. We've got bones or we've got like gore. Oh, poor little bugger. It's like, it's like I'm zooming. Oh, I zoomed in well too much. Right, there we go. Yeah, the remains, it's probably a hare or a rabbit. It's always a parrot at first. It smells funny though, I'm gonna leave that. It smells like something's disturbed it recently. It was probably resting quite happily. And then some bugger probably came along and stabbed it with a stick or something like, or like maybe an animal put it in there and thought, oh, I'll have another go. And you find out now it's got a killer belly ache. Oh yeah. Huh. Oh. I don't know if we can see through there. So uh, there must be something to do with the hertz of the cam uh, of the um the torch and that it interferes with the lens a bit. I think it's the um screen refresh rate or whatever. It's mad. Right guys, so this is that one done. Um, yeah. Yeah, see guys, this is what we were saying, you know, like nature taking over. Look at that. That is roots coming out about five, six foot up in the air and then somehow just growing into the bricks. And look, it's crumbling the bricks out. Yeah. There's bits of brick down here, like, um, cool. Be careful, Ian. I'm trying to prop it back up. <laughs> but yeah, this stuff is um, loose as hell. And it's only a question of like a couple of days and a bit of wind and um, uh, more of this stuff will come off and that. Oh, yeah, it's touching. <laughs> yeah. So don't, don't touch. <laughs> Um, yeah, so obviously, like, you know, these are probably dangerous structures, I guess. Oh, look, uh, there's a there's a light fitting up here. Two light fittings, maybe. Yeah, that's that one. And there's the other one. Interesting. Right. 
Right, so that's another one done. De evolved in RAF, Riven Hole, Riven Hole. You know where we mean. Right, see where we're going next. There's plenty of uh, trip hazards here, guys, so like. If you actually make it here ever, I advise uh, keeping your eyes on the ground because there's like loads and loads of things to trip over. Yeah, Clive would love this. It's funny, uh, poor Clive and that, he was on his way to um, Sussex, I think, for like an explorer, I think. And um, yeah, yeah, I was just looking at the, uh, you know, the picture quality, it's quality. All those bits of tree coming down, the shadows. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, so like, um, Clive was on his way for an explore or something, and then like, uh, poor bugger, the uh, the car broke down on the, uh, I think the M25, typical way. Eh? And uh, yeah, he was like held back for ages. And I was waiting on a call, like, see if he was all right and if he needed any help or, you know, what he was doing. The um, the car helped people, transport yeah. people, that took ages getting to him, but like he gave me a bell and like, finally he, he did actually arrive in Sussex, so we might get some uh, footage from him, we're not sure yet. Yeah. But he would definitely love this place. If it's World War II, then he is all ears. We like, we must attract brambles, I reckon, like. Christ. What is it? Damn. Yeah. It goes all the way. That's bloody huge. Yeah, Ridiculous. It goes all the way up onto the, to the roof as well. That's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, guys, like, you know, it's really evident looking at this year that it's falling apart. The, um, yeah, totally. Like, how long do you reckon this has stood like abandoned for? Yeah, blatantly. Yeah, it looks like they've just like up sticks and left, doesn't it? Right. We still got more. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys. So um, yeah, we've done like another one. Like this site is actually getting a lot bigger. Uh, as we go on, like, you know, we didn't expect it to be as big. Uh, we'd only seen a couple of pictures online of like, you know, a brief idea of where the place was. And we thought like, you know, rather than like look and like, see what other people have done already, um, you know, it takes half the fun out of it. So like we've decided to go in blind, so to speak. So that's why we don't really know much about the history of this place. We haven't researched it or anything at this point. This is purely us going out, having a look, and uh, yeah, just seeing what's what and what we can find. Um, and uh, yeah, so far I'm actually really, really pleased with this. Um, obviously it's not like well preserved or anything, but it's the shape, it's the architecture, it's what it was used for. It's like, you know, why it's here and why it's still here and why people seldom come to see it. And uh, we decided it was a good idea to come and see it. Oh yeah. The same as the ones that that house thing threw down. Oh, yeah. They must have used quite a lot of this, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it could have been. Like, at one point, there must have been, there must have been a bit which had like more in it, I reckon. Uh, or like a storage place for it, or I don't know. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. 
I'm very aware my, my, my voice is like echoing like crazy, like. Light plug. <laughs> it's a gate, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah, for a gear, uh, gear knob or something. Yeah. It's another bong. <laughs> Really chilled out, guys. Like the um, the weather is not cold at all. We set off really early today as well, um, and uh, yeah, and uh, we weren't sure what to expect. But lo and behold, the amount of decay, the amount of decay is absolutely astounding. This is crazy decay. I love it. Right, Chris wants me. I'm going to follow on to Chris, see where he's going. Where are we going, Chris? <laughs> he's done him. Oh, lucky escape. Yeah, like, we have to, like, well duck through these bits, guys. Like, these brambles are not our friend. Yeah, that's mad bright. Oh, look at that, you can just see it poking out the top of the bush there. That's how that's how much look at the size of these vines and these uh these brambles, they're like 15, 20 foot tall. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look then guys. Ah oh, in the head. There we go. It's the uh as you know by all of my videos so far. Every uh, explorer I bang my head. Oh, look at that, the latch is still present on the door. Mm. Nothing the short pass. I don't know why I keep doing like funny like voices today. Like, it's a bit eerie, isn't it? Like, it's like a baby uh, thing. Yeah. Where's the, where's the baby? Really old rusty cans. Oh, this area is painted blue, so we've had like areas painted um, blue, yellow, and green so far, and dusted with rust. Yeah, are you glad like we did this one, do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, man. I think this is uh, yeah, pretty new. I think this was a good move. Man. What's that orange thing? It's like probably something up to date. Yeah, Not really sure what that's about. It's going to be something new, isn't it? Surely, like. Ramp for something? It could be. Oh, weird. Well, guys, if you know what that thing is, yeah. let us know. Or don't, it doesn't really matter. But, like, if you do know, let us know. Crazy. So cool. Have you been this way? That's right, we'll check that out. Oh, look at this one, guys. This this looks cool. Just with the metal up alone, it gives it a little bit more atmosphere, doesn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, once upon a time, all these racks would have had, like... I'm guessing uh, aircraft components and stuff on it, um, and or weapons. Obviously, uh, again, like we'll fill in these blanks. Like we'll let you know shortly what they are. Crazy. 
Yeah, give it a go, man. Right. It's like another, another monkey man, another monkey circus man. Oh, you dropped your, dropped your fags. Oh no, dropped everything. Got a good view. Chris is higher. <laughs> Up in the air. <laughs> yeah. It's like floating. Mm -hmm. So it's a vent up there as well, look, and the ceiling, like that round thing up there, must go to a chimney vent or like an exhaust of some sort. Yeah. I might be able to see that from the outside, guys. No. Anything older that, like that, I don't really touch really, just in case it does fall. So uh, what do they call those uh, mogules, I think they're called. Mo mo mogules, mogules. It's another one of those words. In the comments, guys, let us know. Mogule or mo mogule. Or just, do I need to learn to talk? Probably the latter. It's really calm with all the birds in it chirping away. Definitely should have bought a beer. Yeah, that's that food with the uh, root Yeah. What have we got here? Another light fitting, original door. Oh, asbestos. Well, let's hold our breath and make this a quick one then. It's obviously had like lead paint on the walls because it's all uh, it's really like this effect. It's a cool look. For, like, old sockets and stuff. Oh, are we ever going to get rid of that flicker? I don't know. It's annoying. There we go. So round sockets, round pins for the sockets even. I'm guessing this was probably like a shower or like maybe had a hand basin or something in it. There seems to be uh, a drainage hole in the floor here, probably about five or six inches in uh, circumference. Um, yeah, more lead paint that's uh, peeled away or flaked or come away or whatever. On the yeah, yeah, we've got to be careful with that. I was just thinking I might make an attachment for my um, phone so I can like put my actual torch into it, like a gimbal kind of thing, but holds like a much more hardcore light. Yeah. Oh, we've got toilets. Yeah. Cool. They're very narrow, aren't they? I mean, if you were like a uh, a fat man, let's say, like it might be hard to actually squeeze one out in here. Sorry guys, that's pretty crude, but like you know what I'm saying, like it's not very wide at all. If you were like a larger gentleman or a female, I'd probably that. not be able to get in these toilets. That's it, I think we've done all of it. Have we done all of it, yeah? Yeah. yeah Alright, yeah, cool. Yeah. Let's go through here then, see like what's up. Oh, I've got like stinging little um, rashes or itches on my fingers. So yeah, we'll go through here. Oh look, there's some more stuff written on there. You've got 5A written up here. Or it might be 45A. Or 6. No, it's a 5, isn't it? A 5A. Number 5. Mm. Right, 
so yeah. I think we've got like another explore that we might be doing, uh, which is uh, I think quite nearby. I think. Um, God, so hot. <coughs> and um, yeah, so like yeah, we've uh, we've made it here. We've uh, done uh, RAF uh, Rivenhall or whatever, <laughs> whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, we've done that one. And um, yeah, we're on to our next uh, destination now. So I hope you've enjoyed the footage. Um, and uh, yeah, remember to like, subscribe and all that stuff. Like if you want to, you know, we would really appreciate it if you give us a like or like subscribe to our channel. We're only uh, young in the uh, channel scheme of things. So uh, every, uh, every person helps. And uh, you know, at the same time, we just want to bring you better and better stuff and more and more locations. So um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> right, guys. Yeah, like we're just uh, trying to find our way back out of the uh, the woods now. <laughs> the next leg of the adventure and see what else we can find. But yeah, that's that's been really good today. That's been like a nice one this morning. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Various domestic accommodation sites were constructed and dispersed away from the airfield on the south side, but within a mile or so of the technical support site also using clusters, Maycrete or Nissan huts. The huts were either connected, set up end to end or built singly and made of prefabricated corrugated iron with a door and two small windows at the front and back. They provided accommodation for 2,594 personnel including communal and sick quarters. We also stopped by this decorative memorial to pay our respects.